and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For for we beseech you, O Lord, the grace into our hearts, that we, whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We would like to thank our prayer partners for today, Mrs. Mercy Evangelista and family. Ang atong santos nga misa karon madunggan gikan sa San Pedro Cathedral.
brothers and sisters in Christ, good noon. Today, we celebrate the solemnity of all saints. Holy Mother Church teaches us all faithful that leading a life of holiness and virtues, those who have gone before us are given the reward of enjoying the presence of God. With their intercession, they help us in our earthly pilgrimage toward our heavenly home. With their example, the light of Christ radiates from their lives and serves as a testimony that holiness is possible in our own state of life. May we share the glory of God with the saints in every Holy Eucharist we celebrate. The presider of our Eucharistic celebration is Archbishop Romolo G. Valles. Please all stand. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all the need, here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table, where saints and sinners are fed. Yeah. 
the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. As we know very well, brothers and sisters, today is November the 1st, November 1, and in the church we celebrate this day as a solemnity, solemnidad, solemnity of all saints. The glory of God in the grace of the lives of men and women. And so let us prepare for this Holy Eucharist by recalling the mind of sins. I confess, Almighty God, and, and to you, God, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with a seal, 140,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude which no one could count from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worship God, and exclaim, Amen. Blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then, one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the great time of distress and they have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reading from the first letter of Saint John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. be seated. Brothers and sisters, as I said at the beginning of the Mass, today is November 1st. Uh, we know that today is the solemnity of all saints. And yet, I am very aware that for most of us, ang atong preoccupation atong mind mao nga kalag kalag hmm. all all uh, all souls day hmm. pero salamat that you are uh, you are attending mass today and let me tell you this is not mass for the dead ang misa is not for kalag kalag huh? strictly speaking huh? for kalag kalag all souls uh, intentions that will be tomorrow November 2. And why, why am I emphasizing, of course, you can pray privately about the dead, no? But I'm pointing this out because Ang Simbahan, the church, has a very wise, wise to you, wise aim, wise, very wise reason to put up through centuries of this solemnity, not only a feast, Solemnity of all saints, and then followed by November 2, the Feast of All Souls Day. Also, all the people departed. Now, malas alkanse kita if we focus only on the dead and forgetting the beauty, the importance, very serious importance of the message of November 1. Just by numbers, how many are we? But we know that Takan Kai Manimbasa November 2. I have no complaints about that. That's beautiful. But but as I said, focusing only on November 2, and forgetting the motherly inahanon nga tuyo sa church to nurture us, to nourish us, 
and then we don't pay attention to November the 1st, medyo sayang. I, I would be sad. So, for, I would say, dagan manta, but for the few of us, compared to those, I would suspect, don't pay attention to November 1st, rather than they, ang ilang mind and heart is November 2nd, please start telling people that lahi siya. Another way of putting it, duha ni kami nyo. <laughs> very, very crude example, but duha kami nyo. When you focus on the second, ay na-miss na to ang unang menu, ang first serving of the food for the soul. Now, today we say solemnity of all, all saints. Mawala itong gisa ulog karon. Now, nindot kayo ang, ang opening prayer pa lang would help us understand or start appreciating the, the beauty of today's celebration. The opening prayer says, Almighty ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints. Today is not about patay, not about the dead. Ugma pa na. But um, in this ceremony, the merits, uh, the gift of the in one celebration, the merits of all the saints. As we do that, the prayer says, Bestow on us, we pray. We, ato pa, saints and we. Wal pang patay. pa na. But Lord, thank you for bringing your attention to the merits of the saints. Now, bestow on us, Lord, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors. See the teaching of the church. Lord, you bestow on us, make it happen on us, allow us to have, wala pa, unsa nang have, allow us, through the merits, through the intercession of the saints. How, maybe Mama Mary, maybe San Pedro Apostol, but how many of us would really cling and intensely pray to many saints, choosing one saint, Gisulti Karun, to help us. Help us, huh? bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of many intercessors, the saints. What? An abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long. Papay Rabot Uba, karun lang, is good to examine. Do we long for that? Do we long to be reconciled with God? Maging only is a Dios to be close to God, to be close to the Lord, and we cannot do this alone. With the grace of God and the help of many intercessors. That is the beauty of today's feast. We have countless intercessors. I, what comes to mind, balik-balik na ko ni in these past few days, for young people, Google Carlo Acutis. Matan on gilubong siya, naka-sneakers pa. <laughs> Kung niyengo nila, ayan si Nina, ganang Adidas sports shirt. Young, but blessed na. For young people, who somehow would be lost in the world today, Raise your minds and hearts to Carlo Blessed Beato Carlo Acotis. Because today, I go on to another level. Today, we proclaim on November 1st the power of the saints to intercede for us. Intercede when you are a wife and mother having difficulty, when you are a husband and father with difficulty, 
A young people with difficulties, Carlo Acotis, as I said, teacher, you can look for saints, nga teacher, merchant, government official, kings, their saints, dato nga widow, dato kayo, but becoming saint, doctors, you name it. They are our intercessors to become holy. Now, the readings will tell us more about this menu of the church today. Grant us, O Lord, the grace to be close to you, to be reconciled with you, to be holy kay Lord, kung kami lang pasagdan, balik-balik, walay duda, the Lord knows that ang atong sala, balik-balik to capture us. Diba? Balik-balik na, igo ta, patpatabang ta sa mga saints. Now, who are they? Ingon ang first reading karon from the book of from the book of uh, Revelation. Nay number, kasi number ha? Huh? They, they count. Huh? 144,000. Nay mga mo interpret ana, exact number. Pa ana pa na madungga na pa na to. Uh, we are the only ones member anang numero ha. Kami rin masave. At laban tayo mo, di mo appeal. Makatawa ko, makatawa ko kay. In the next line, in fact, the Bible will say, they cannot be counted. So ang this, my dear friends, many of them, this is the vision of John. In the end, di pa si in the vision of St. John, he was asked a voice in the vision. Who are they? And from where? Kinsa sila o gingikan? Si John in town ingon, Ang boot! Okay, balo. Ikaw na kay balo. And then, I hope I can, I can find it. Huh? And then, uh, John would say, huh? uh, They are the ones who survive the tests. Ang ilang garments gilimpyuhan, very poetic. Their garments blue, black, green, whatever, puti na because they were cleansed by the blood of the Lamb. So these are the countless witnesses who are like us and therefore, the logic is, therefore, they are sympathetic to us. They are not angels. They are men and women who went through life. Nindot kayo. Yeah, for sure. They would be looking at us and we can ask for their intercession. And again, today, why do we long? To see the face of the Lord. That's the the Psalm uh, Why 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 do we pack it check? Yeah, Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. That's what Saint Paul says. Kini mga multitude, they are looking. We'll become like them, and one day we can see God face to face. The gospel will tell us that is our sangkuanan, that is our destino today. As we look at the saints, the glory of the saints, we see also our future. And as a connector for tomorrow, when we go to the tombs, Ugma, we will be reminded of death. And I hope tomorrow we will not be smiling, partly, but we also be sober faced that we will be reminded of our death. Now, back to today, the gospel tells us you will be beloved, you will be blessed. Nine times, gingon sa gospel, balik-balik, almost like I calculated, di ba? 
and three times of scripture more solemn. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Kini, tulu ka tulu. Three, 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 nine. Puro, you'll be blessed. In the end, ha, ang ikatent, klaro din ang blessed. Rejoice and be glad. For your reward will be great in heaven. Nine ka blessed. And then number ten, conclusion. Rejoice and be glad. You will be like the saints. Is Christianity in nila opium? Kining faith, kining Catholic faith. Kwan ba ni? Mura giilad ta? Para makalimuta sa mga kalisod sa kalibutan? No. The Gospel reading tells us, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are they who mourn. Blessed are the meek, for they will be inheritors of the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst. So therefore, in the midst of the trials of this life, keep your faith in the Lord. Do not run away from trials, but carry your own cross like the saints. And the number 10, rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. In short, my dear friends, today and the meaning of November 1st, serenity of all saints will bring tomorrow to the cemetery. As a special feast today, we would go to the cemetery and celebrate tomorrow, remembering all the dead with a great hope that holiness and being in heaven is in store for us too today. Please all stand. I believe in one God, the, the Father. Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our general intercessions. As God's people on earth, let us unite our prayers with all the saints in heaven for the needs of men and women everywhere. For every prayer, we will say, Dear Father, hear us. Dear Father, hear us. That the Church, the joyful mother of a great company of saints, may bring all her children to the kingdom of God. We pray, Dear Father, hear us. 
that the leaders in government and private sector will work to keep strong Christian values in every Filipino home and wherever our young children are being taught and molded. We pray, Dear Father, hear us, that the sick, the prisoners, the hungry, those who mourn, and the victims of calamities will find the comfort and joy in the real presence of God in the Eucharist experienced by the lives of the saints. We pray, Dear Father, hear us, that all of us who celebrate the Holy Eucharist today will become true disciples of Christ even in most difficult situations. We pray, Dear Father, hear us, that all the souls in purgatory will be welcomed by God in His kingdom and join the ranks of His holy saints. We pray, Dear Father, hear us. For our own intentions, let us pray to God in silence. Father of holiness and grace, we offer our petitions with the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, confident in your mercy revealed in their heroic lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh, 
Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, a duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory endowed upon those exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels, as with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Romulo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray is that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the Lord, you 
Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us bless the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made, who made heaven, heaven and, and earth. earth. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Holy Mass, this Holy Eucharist is ended. Let us all go in peace. Thanks be to God. Stream Mass, Bernard and Rose Enriquez, Carlita Sirad, Dr. Oscar and Joji Grajeda and Family, Rue Mango Apartel and Suites, Engineer and Mrs. Franklin Hentiles and Family, Engineer June and Mrs. Evelyn Alegre Sardido and Family, Jade Bookstore, Antonia Diaz, Todo, Lo Catayas and Family, j Rog Marketing, Mr. and Mrs. Ronnie Osnan and Family, Malco and Glo Cañete and Family, Maria Corazon, Tavandar Yambao Araw, Mr.
Mary Grace Dumandan, Montojo and Roger Montojo and Family, Moses and Partners Management, Joseph and Noah Construction, Mr. Rene Breva, Mr. Rudy and Mrs. Jean Alegre Sobiaco and Family, One Cycle Mile Corporation, Ornell and Doctora Jovic Fuentes, Our Lady of Manawag Prayer Community Davao, Our Lady of Peace GKK Davao Executive Homes, Panabo Mayor Jose Relampagos and Josephine Hantilas Relampagos and Family, Piti Coco Virgin Coconut Oil and Coffeeville Apartment Homes, Sandoval, Roselio, Montillo, Pacali, and Ortega Families, Villa Carmelita Inland Resort and Hotel, Mrs. Carmelita Liktawa and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Ronald Bing and Diane Reyes, Core Family, Prayer Warriors of the Holy Souls Davao, Irene Basan, Aida Durado, Mejorada, and La Corte Family.